Simple machines are all about trade-offs. Knowing that work equals force times distance, we simply recognize that we can do the same amount of work and decrease the force if we increase the distance. Or if we want to decrease the distance, we have to increase the force. Either way, we can get the same amount of work done. A smart engineer or scientist or just smart person is knowledgeable enough to make the right trade-offs for the given situation to get the work done. But recognize that it's always a trade-off. For example, if you wanted to get a heavy rock onto the back of a trailer, you could consider some options. Option 1. Lift the rock straight up and just get it on the trailer. In this case, the distance is small. It's one meter. It's the most direct route. But the force is pretty large, 80 newtons. So to do it this way, we would calculate the work using, well, W equals FD. The force is 80 newtons, and the distance in the same direction is one meter. And so we plug all this in, and we get Work is 80 times 1, or 80 joules. Now, if you decide that lifting the rock straight up is pretty difficult, you do have other options. You can be smart and build a ramp, also known as an inclined plane. You could find a board and roll the rock up the ramp and onto the trailer. In this case, the force would now be 40 newtons. So that's nice, it's half of what it was. But the distance is now two meters. So if we were to calculate the work in this case, we'd have W equals FD, where in this case the F force is 40 newtons. And the distance is two meters. And yes, we can confirm that the force and the distance are in the same direction, that is up the ramp. Plugging all this in, we have work is 40 times 2, or 80 joules. The work is the exact same. So, using a simple machine, in this case, a ramp, or also called an inclined plane, you just traded less force for more distance to get the same work done. Another option is if you found the rock even still quite difficult to be moving, or you had a whole lot of them to move, you might want the force to be even less. So, being strategic, you go and find a longer board. So now we found a board that is 4 meters long. And we find that the force is now only 20 newtons. So let's figure out what the work would be in order to do it this way. Again, W equals FD. The force in this case is 20 newtons. The distance is 4 meters. Again, the force and the distance are both up the angle of the ramp. And so we plug it all in and work equals 20 newtons times 4 meters or 80 joules. And once again, the work is the exact same. So let's now look back on our three strategies for getting our 80 joules of work done, or getting the rock onto the trailer. There definitely was trade-off involved. In the first case, you had quite a large force to deal with, but it was quite quick. So if you were big and you could handle that force, then the fastest way to get all those rocks on the trailer might be just to lift them up and plunk them on the trailer. If you wanted to go with a smaller force, well, that might be easier on you from not having to deal with so much lifting. But it probably be a little slower because now you have to walk around and push up the two meters of ramp. So suddenly there's more distance involved. Things slow down and it is a trade-off. And in the last case, well, it's definitely nice that we're dealing with a smaller force, but now we're walking up a four meter ramp. So if you're in a real rush, you might find that this is kind of a slower option to do. They're all trade-offs. If you can handle the force, then you may choose option one as the best strategy. 
if the force is too much and you're going to be doing it all day and you want to save energy from having to deal with that and you'll compromise and have it go a little bit slower, then maybe option three is the best approach. It all depends on your situation. Simple Machines is all about trade-offs. In this tutorial, we looked at our first simple machine. That is, an inclined plane, or commonly called a ramp. We showed that the ramp allowed us to modify the way we do the same amount of work. To decrease the force, we simply increase the distance, and vice versa. Either way, we end up with the same amount of work being done. Whichever way we do it, the rock still ends up on the back of the trailer. Knowledge of simple machines allows us to be smart on exactly how we want to get our work done. 